Hey guys, welcome back to Roblox Pig. Today we'll talk about Inquisitor Master dating Dan TDM. Let's head into it. Inquisitor Master's love life. Inquisitor Master is 26 years old. She was born in the US on May 1st, 1994. Alex Einstein is her birth name. In addition, there's no information available to her fans about her parents, family history and education. She may, however, have completed her graduation from university. Similarly, when she was in seventh grade, she was ranked third in her high school Halo tournament. She's of American descent, but has never mentioned her ethnic background. She's in a relationship with a fellow Hello YouTube star, reflecting on the love life of Inquisitor Master. In 2017, she began dating her boyfriend Zachary Todd. They also ran a channel called Zalix together, but are not currently active. The duo looks very happy and blissful together. Usually, they hang out together and keep posting images on their handles on social media. Dan TDM's love life. Dan is one of the UK's most subscribed and viewed YouTubers, currently having over 24.2 million subscribers and total video views of 17.4 billion. For his gaming and his commitment to the best-selling video game Minecraft, Dan has earned Kids' Choice Awards as well as a Guinness World Record. He's received a golden play button and a diamond play button. Dan is married to Gemma Middleton. They used to make videos together. For example, husband versus wife survival and husband and husband versus wife mini games. There are also three pugs owned by Dan and Gemma, Ellie, Darcy and Peggy. So far, Ellie is known to be two years old and Darcy to be one year old. The age of Peggy is unknown, but she's believed to be around five or six, but she is now sadly deceased. The affair. But why are these two YouTubers who seem to be in a happy relationship now dating other people? The answer is because they have an Affair. Yes, you've heard that right. Zach and Gemma notice obvious signs in their partner's behavior, which made it obvious that they cheat. These signs can help every single one of you who fears that your partner cheats on you as well. Number four, hiding their cell phone. To support your suspicions of their cheating, the smartphone of the partner can become the most crucial piece of evidence. You might notice that when they spend time with you, they act increasingly overprotective of their phone, carrying it with them everywhere they go and placing it face down. To hide them from you, they might also delete text messages and contacts. It could be a sign that they have their attention focused on someone else if they spend more time on their phone than talking with you. Try talking to your partner about how their constant phone use makes you feel unimportant if you feel safe doing so. Zach should attempt to ask questions such as who are you texting or why are you keeping your phone hidden? If Alex gets defensive at her inquiries, this behavior raises a red flag. Before going through their phone yourself, we recommend trying to open communications. Your spouse might later turn to actions such as those against you. Number three, avoiding your questions and calls. You may start wondering why if your spouse doesn't answer your phone calls or always calls you back later. To answer a phone call from their spouse, most individuals can step away from work. On the other hand, with a lover, you probably stow away your phone until you leave. Make a mental note of what time of day you're calling or how often there is no availability for your spouse. They may be seeing someone else if you start to notice a trend, such as they never pick up on a Tuesday afternoon. She should do her research before Gemma makes assumptions about Dan. If Dan says that he was with a friend and she has contact information for that person, she should check with the person and see if Dan's story is corroborated. Keep in mind that when you question them, a choosing partner might gaslight you or accuse you of losing your mind. They might try to make it look like you're the one cheating. They might try to make it look like you're the one cheating when they're just trying to distract you from their misconduct in reality. Number two, overly emotional to questions. It can result in emotions running high when approaching your partners for answers. They might be paranoid and sensitive to questions if your spouse is hiding something. When you ask them about their strange conduct, keep a record of their reactions. Do they get defensive or angry? Are they screaming to try and intimidate you or are they becoming evasive? Are they accusing you of prying and not having confidence in them? On the other hand, when they're cheating, some cheating partners compensate with a calmer attitude and communicate well. Zach fears that Alex might do exactly that. Consider how when you bring up the possibility of an affair, their emotions and reactions may look different than usual. Perhaps this tip will help Zach discover the truth. Number one, suspicious social media. The majority of Roblox YouTubers such as Dan and Alex have at least one social media profile these days. On average, people browse Facebook, Instagram and other social media for two to four hours a day. On social media, how does your spouse act? Consider things like when you tag them in photos, they comment on your posts. Are they tagging you in any posts or posting pictures of the two of you? While they might try to keep their relationship private, their disinterest in your relationship can be mirrored by disengagement on social media. Dan is already inactive on social media, but Gemma may notice a shift in his activities. Try searching your name and checking to see if they have any other accounts. As with the unidentified email address, Dan or Alex's suspicious Facebook or Instagram account could signal suspicious behavior. What do you think about Dan TDM and Inquisitor Master? Do you believe that they're dating? Let us know in the comment section. This brings us to the end of our video. I hope you enjoyed it. Hit like if you did and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on any of our videos in the future. Also, watch the two videos that are on your screen because I'm sure you'll love them. With that, I'll see you in the next video.